Austin Christine, now back to you. Thank you, Chris. 534, the legislative session is coming to an end and hundreds of bills are ready for a final decision. Dallas Fonsveras joins us live from the state capitol with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Hey, good morning, Christine Ross. Yes, let's see what the future looks like with the last day being today. And here joining us on Wake Up Today is our special guest, Vice Speaker of the House, Gregor Illigan. Good morning, Speaker. How's it going? Good morning, Dallas. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for joining us here on Wake Up Today. So first question I want to ask you, what are your thoughts going in your head right now? What is digesting with it being the last day of the legislative session? Oh. Right now, this yes. morning, coffee, this moment, definitely coffee. coffee. But going into the end of legislative session is that I feel very um, accomplished mm -hmm. and also we had a very productive session. Okay, and you know what, in the last half hour, we actually spoke to uh, Senate President, Senator Kochi, and he gave his thoughts saying that he gave this last few months an I as an incomplete. If you could give the, a grade to the last few months as far as uh, progress has been done here, what would you give it? Well, I have a different perspective because this is my first year as vice speaker mm -hmm. and part of the leadership team. So I feel this is a very, um, uh, a lot of progress for me mm -hmm. and learning the role and interacting with the members and getting things for our community. So I, if I were to grade it, I'm a bit biased, so it would be A. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and your experience is different. Everyone has their own view on this. Um, as far as yesterday goes, you mentioned that it was a big day. Can you remind us why? Yes, so yesterday marks the fifth anniversary for our historic Kilauea eruption in Puna. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I've been working on is reopening the Puhiki boat ramp. And we, we secured $5.4 million mm -hmm. to do just that. And will that be completed? Um, well, right now we secured the funding, so okay. we have to go through from um, study to construction. So it's going to take a while, okay. but at least we have the first steps and now we're going to um, hopefully complete it. I know you said this was your first year as vice speaker. Were there any surprises to you, something that you didn't expect, that didn't meet reality to things? Well, we came in with three priorities, um, talking to the members, and that was building affordable housing, delivering mental health services, and also protecting and preserving our natural resources. And being able to accomplish that, and that's what we did this session, was very, um, I didn't really know how we were going to. Mm -hmm. but. The surprise was to be able to work with the members and getting that done. I know today is the last day of the legislative session. Hundreds of bills are going to be moving forward, whether they get signed into law or will get vetoed or enter a new chapter. What would you say is the issue that needs a little bit more work on? Say if you had like another month of legislative session that you could maybe focus on a little bit more. Well, we put in 280 million over the biennium for affordable housing mm -hmm. in the um, residential housing revolving fund. I wish we could put more because that affects families who have 60% and under um, area median income and those are low income families. Mm -hmm. um, and if we could put more funding into that program, we can affect even greater amount of families. Would you say there's an area where there's too much funding that maybe you could grab from one place and put it towards housing? I don't think there's always too much funding in a particular area, mm -hmm. just because the need is always there. All right, well, thank you so much, Vice Speaker, for joining us here on Wake Up Today. We're excited, it's the last day, and we look forward to another opportunity where we can get an update. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dallas. And if you want some more details, keep it right here on Wake Up Today. We'll be having live interviews every half hour through our Take Two show, but if you want some more information as to all the topics that we've been covered and also what we can expect today, you can visit our website at KH12.com. Report over here at the State Capitol, Dallas Navarro's KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas. You notice the lawmakers so far smiling very big this morning. Last day of school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up next, we're working for Hawaii with a live look at your roads and more of the breezy conditions expected. Plus, it's a good time.